All right, so before I actually get started with this video, this video has no type of script whatsoever. Like literally this whole thing is improvised and I'm literally recording this intro after finishing the entire video and don't ask why. But yeah, Slay World, that one gay rap group, they be having a lot going on. So I decided to write down 15 facts about Slay World. And yes, this is a really bad rollout to the Slay World iceberg. I swear it's coming soon, bro. But yeah, without further ado, here's 25 facts about Slay World. Autumn Hates Nina. Nina by Autumn is probably one of his most popular songs to date. In fact, it was his first ever hit back in 2018 when he dropped it on his R3 tape. And he hates it. A song that I regret making, Nina. For real? Why? I'm running around that Nina. Why you don't like it? That shit annoying, like, that shit annoying, bro. Beat for Ben knew that was originally gonna be used for Goonie and Summers. In the recent video Benji Cole posted, he revealed that the original beat for Ben knew that was originally sent to Goonie and Summers. Then he sent it to Isaiah and now we have Ben knew that. Bird Allegiance was scrapped from Fallen Raven. According to a very reliable source on Reddit, Bird Allegiance was originally gonna be on Summers album Fallen Raven. And it kind of makes sense cause Bird Allegiance kind of fits the vibe of the B side of the album, the plug and B side. I guess it just dropped as a separate single. No new friends was scrapped from two seasons four no new friends was just a song by autumn off of his not much left tape that was originally gonna be on a still awaiting project two seasons four which is the fourth installment of the two season series by summers and autumn and two series four is apparently supposed to be dropping this year but i don't think that's gonna happen goonie was the first rapper to join slay World. when king carlson was looking for people to promote his clothing brand he got his rap friend goonie and they became friends and they made a group chat called slay World. and therefore makes him the first rapper to join slay world benji cole and summers used the same beat summers and benji cole both used the beat sent from goyard and summers would use the beat first on a song called where we left off off his nmnl tape literally five days later benji cole would use the same beat and put it on his tape four for four which is the song being called lose you and my soul now in terms of being better i would have to give it to benji cole don't get me wrong summer's version is good too but i just think benji cole did it better pretty sure other people think so as well can can was going to be on anti-social 3 according to sleeping underground can can was going to be a feature on anti-social 3 by tana which never came out by the way tana gets on live with can can he plays anti-social bada boom bada bing he probably would have got on the third version that never dropped what we have was going to be seven tracks long what we have was going to have a seventh track that was previewed on summer's ig live it was in the middle of him actually making the tape and this was before 30 nick sent him anything 30 nick eventually did send something and it was a sample of cry for you by jodeci it couldn't make the tape because of the sample it didn't make the tape the sample couldn't get cleared it just didn't make it to what we have however goyard would use the same sample and send the beat he made of it to benji cole benji cole rapped on it and it made it to his 444 tape and the reason why 30 nick's version of the sample didn't make it was probably because goyard's version of the sample was actually pitched not 30 nick i'll probably make a whole separate video about like samples and plug-in b beats and stuff reverse reverb isn't real the term fans came up with when slay world was using that dark ambient sound in the back there would be like reverse reverbed ad libs and that's how the name came but slay world didn't have an official name for it fans came up with it whatever the fans came up with is not real no more nothing less two was gonna drop christmas of 2022 it's actually either christmas of 2022 or christmas of 2021 from what i remember one of his ig stories he said he was gonna drop one tape and then drop nm and l2 on christmas which did not happen said the same thing this year and i'm pretty sure it's not gonna happen like it did about a year or two ago if he actually actually does drop it on Christmas, I will literally delete my channel. No joke, if you're trying to run an archive page, get to work. The beat to my collection by Autumn was originally gonna be used by Benji Cole. Crazy run of Benji Cole using 30 Nick beats. The original beat from my collection prod by 30 Nick was sent to Benji Cole. And I read this somewhere on Reddit, so Benji Cole, if you're seeing this, you're probably seeing this. Please correct in the comments. Bella was the first and only female to rap on a plug and beat. Now you're probably wondering what this has to do with Slay World. Bella was Summer's girlfriend at the time when plug and beat was first being created. And she was featured on a song with Summers. And as of now, she's the only female, female rapper, I guess, to rap on plug and beat. The only female that I know as of now. Desire and Goyard aren't the same people. Again, you may be asking, what does this have to do with Slay World? Desire is Summer's brother. Now you may be thinking bro people don't begin desire and goyard mixed up 
you'd be surprised. It's mostly the people over on TikTok. It's people that get desire and Goyard mixed up because Goyard has a desire tag. And they don't know Goyard is like a whole different producer. They see desire. It's like, oh my God, it's desire. The dude that produces for summers. No. Again, Desire is the tag Goyard uses on his beats from his Desire collective with other producers. Fallen Raven is OG What We Have and Evolve 2. What We Have 2 and Evolve 2 were two albums Summers was planning to drop in 2022. And you can tell because on SoundCloud, So Much Cheese has the original Evolve 2 cover art. Obviously, both albums never dropped that year, but Summers just put Evolve 2 and What We Have 2 into one album, making Fallen Raven. Side A being Evolve 2 and Side B being what we have to. Autumn, Isaiah, and Whelan were the only people supporting Yeet in the beginning. Back when Yeet first started rapping, nobody really liked his music in Slay World. It was only Autumn, Isaiah, and Whelan. Yeet was taken off of Zaza. But fast forward 2021, all of a sudden Yeet is back on the song. Can Can is Can Can apparently supports him now. <laughs> and that was 15 facts. Let me know which one surprised y'all the most. Yeah, I've been going for like a good month and I'm back for now but yeah iceberg video on the way i swear i promise it's gonna be here bro no later than october